We do want to show you some new video coming out of Haiti. Take a look at this, where rescue operations are now underway following that magnitude 7.2 earthquake over the weekend. And on top of all of this, Haiti may feel the effects of tropical depression grace as soon as tonight. Florida has the largest Haitian population in the United States. Right here in central Florida, people are devastated about what is happening in Haiti. Joining us now is Pierre Friends Neptune, a Haitian national living here in Orlando. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, I want to say I'm so sorry for what's happening in your homeland. You had that earthquake in 2010, which the island is still not recovered from, the assassination of Haiti's president a few weeks ago, and now this earthquake. How are you feeling this morning? Um, when I heard the news, um, I was I was devastating um, because I am a earthquake survivor from the earthquake that took place to, in 2010. Um, and I know what my people are going through right now. And this is my hometown. Like that's where, that's where I was born. Mm. That's where my mother raised me. And I worked in this area after Hurricane Matthew. Um, my organization and I, we did a, a housing project to help people. We still work in the area. Um, helping farmers to regain their farm that got lost in Hurricane Ma after Hurricane Matthew took place. So um, it's hard to process. I'm still trying to process what's going on um, after the, you know, a month, six weeks later. Um, you know, we lost our president. We have no government. Um, uh, earthquake, uh, earthquake take place in the Southern Peninsula. And now there's, uh, there's a hurricane. Um, coming, you know, the, the biggest question for me is what's next? Well, I, I can only imagine that must be going through your mind. And you mentioned that you were a survivor of the last earthquake. So when you see these images that are coming out of Haiti right now, and I saw one particularly heart-wrenching one of a woman being pulled from the rubble. She was dazed and bloodied. Her child was pulled out after her. And it was just so heartbreaking to see that because they also said there's so many people still buried underneath the rubble there. I know that you've been in communication with your own family. How are they doing? Where are they? And what are they telling you about where they're seeing there right now? It's when I've seen the pictures um, that's coming out, um, it brought back a lot of memories. Um, when the earthquake happened in 2010, I never thought I could recover from what I've seen. Um, how people, how the, our bodies is is being treated. Um, yeah, I talked to my family members; they um, they okay. Um, I have a lot of my friends um, lost their family members. Um, they lost their homes. Um, they are sleeping in the street, and the trauma that they experiencing right now is is unbelievable and imaginable because the every little thing one of my aunt um right now any little thing tripped her up she stopped running and and pure herself just uh, sorry i say that but um that's the reality that is going on back home right now it seems the need is overwhelming given everything that's happened in haiti how can people there get the help they so desperately need I, I think um, people need to go with the grassroots organization. Um, they need to give to the small, donate to the small organization that can make the difference, that can which go to the, the remote location where, you know, a lot of big people, big people doesn't go. A lot of times um, when, when things like that happen in Haiti, people just focus on the city, but they forgot the, the remote location where there is no word there's only a little trace of 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 um of a place to for a donkey or somebody to just climb the mountain and go reach those people um so those smaller organizations can do that and they can donate i am personally going down there um in the next in the next week um to see to assess and see what we what in what way we can help um they can go donate to my organization as well and i will make sure that they get to them 100 percent because as a local um it is for me to it is me for it is me as haitian that will that can help our people and help our country to overcome all this hard hate well there certainly is a lot and pierre we'd love to talk to you when you come back from haiti to get a firsthand uh, a look at what you experience and are seeing there when you do go thank you so much though for joining us this morning and again we are so sorry for what's happening in your country pierre france neptune thank you thank you so much oh, bless him. oh boy
Well, all students across Central Florida now are officially back in school. Volusia County was the last school district to return today. Fox 35 Sydney Cameron is live in New 